And one issue we run into is that obviously, if we need to power that device, we would run into the exact same issues as hearing aids. And hearing aids, as you know, currently requires battery. And those batteries are really, really small. I can show you one here. I will open that door latch and you can see how small this is and how inconvenient this is, by the way, for people that don't necessarily have my dexterity to open that little latch and change the battery. And this battery has to be changed quite often for hearing aids. That's, you know, every week uh, for both ears. So this is quite a waste as well. Uh, and this is a cost, definitely. So our tech was really that for our smart earplug, this is how we call that uh, digital earplug, we wanted to have something that would be actually self-powered. And we looked into ways to actually harvest energy, you know, at the vicinity of the ear, so close to the ear canal. Your partner who worked with you on this uh, research is uh, with you there. Can we have a demonstration of uh, how that energy would be harnessed to go into that oral device that you've shown us? So I didn't will put that on. And what I will be uh, showing you is uh, the screen that you can see here with the voltage. And obviously, as Edin is not uh, chewing any gum, there is not nothing happening. But now I will ask uh, Edin to have maybe one uh, one gum around. Can you see the screen properly? Yes, we can see that perfectly. And of course, the chewing is the thing that is going to create the energy, the power, correct? It's exactly right. And look what's going on here. We have maybe a little uh, connection problem, <laughs> but the uh, you will see the voltage. With every choose, you will see the voltage and this peak, this spark of voltage that you can see. And so that's the this is here, and I will try to show you Aiden at the same time. This is what we get when he's actually moving his drones. Okay, you mentioned uh, armed forces and uh, firefighting services. So we're talking about oral uh, earpieces that are not just uh, for people who are hard of hearing, but they can actually work as communication devices in uh, rescue situations, for example. Is that correct? That's absolutely right, you know, because on top of that uh, hearing protection device that we mentioned, we actually feature a few communication capabilities. So we have, for example, the ability to pick up your own voice, so the voice of the people of the person wearing that device, and the voice will be picked up by an internal microphone. And the trick is obviously that this internal microphone is protected against any disturbance, any noise outside. So you can have a very clear communication, you know, if you're just a consumer in a music concert, or if you are a first responder, you know, in a disaster situation with a lot of noise around you, who are actually on the battlefield. That's a very small amount of energy at the moment you're able to create. Can you possibly, using another form of uh, so human activity, say, for example, walking, cycling, running, create more energy that could be used for other purposes as well? You're absolutely right. And there have been a lot of uh, attempts and proof of concept of, uh, you know, harvesting energy from the uh, footstep, you know, of an impact. And you can imagine that the, in your shoe sole, you could have some piezoelectric stack that would be pressed and that would actually drain some electricity for every footstep that you do. You would have some devices that are um, hydraulic systems or electrodynamic uh, systems on the knee. And every time you bend your, you know, your leg, you'd actually generate some electricity. Those things already exist as, you know, prototypes in some labs and certainly some defense labs. Our take really here is that we want to power as close as possible to the use. So, you know, if we are considering those smart hearing protection devices, we need the power here. I don't want to be running something, you know, from my shoe up to my, you know, ears uh, using wires and so on.